the unit we are studying is the uh, chapter number two and the factoring and polynomial okay chapter number two was factoring and polynomial factoring and polynomial uh, these are two uh, different words not the same thing factoring is another thing and polynomial is the other thing okay so what is the uh, what is actually the factoring factoring uh, uh, factoring is the way is the process uh, are the representation of the polynomial in the simple form and what is polynomial polynomial is just the expression uh, which contain many numbers which contain many terms like poly means many and nominal mean numbers we were studying these things okay so in this class we will proceed further uh, and we'll do some examples okay uh, because in the previous class we have done with some examples uh, let me uh, show you some some of these examples okay uh, these examples are the okay uh, we have studied that the uh, first we have studied the factorization of the number of a number factorization of the simple number like the 15 here is the uh, simple number and the what is the factorization of 15 will be the factorization of 15 will be 3 cross 5 similarly 16 uh, uh, the factorization of 16 is 4 cross 4 and representation uh, factorization of 32 is 8 cross 4 okay this is the methodology similarly uh, again we have taken a polynomial this is a polynomial basically okay and it, it contains two terms one and two so it is called binomial okay now how we factorize the polynomial actually factorization means breaking the thing into its uh, uh, corresponding components okay factorization means breaking the numbers or polynomial into uh, their respective uh, into their respective factor factors okay this is the uh, meaning of uh, factorization so uh, basically let me check the regarding if the regarding is going on or not yes the regarding is i think working uh, so dear students let me check the thing okay this was the uh, question number one six x square plus nine x okay and we have factorized this because uh, how we factorize this please note the process first of all we take the x common okay first of all we take the x common and then we have uh, taken the uh, three common okay because three is common in both like three multiplied by two is six and three multiplied by three is nine we can easily see that the uh, these both things which three x okay this is the 3x the 3x is common and present in both so we have therefore we have taken a 3x outside and the remaining thing is uh, the remaining thing is the another factor 2x plus 3 okay so what what we have actually done we have done that uh, like we have just uh, changed the form of the representation the expression was 6x square plus 9 we have converted this representation into this simpler form this is the simpler form okay please note this thing okay please please uh, it is a very critical point Sim it is the simplification it is the simple form okay simple representation or simple form we have just did this okay uh, can you confirm uh, is my audio clear to all of you or not my voice is clear or not yes teacher okay uh, so the second example uh, we have done in the previous class uh, is the is that example we have taken a polynomial 12x square 12 x cube sorry 12 x cube plus 4x plus 2 actually this is a trinomial because it contains three terms because it contains three terms it is just trinomial and uh, what we have done actually we have done the factorization okay we have done the factorization uh, and how we did that uh, please note the thing we are first of all we analyze we 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 checked for the x we analyze the x what is x here okay x is the variable and we see that the x is present here x is present here but x is not present here okay so we cannot take the x common we cannot take the x common okay uh, so what what should we do we will leave the x just we will just leave the x and now we will analyze the another numbers what are the other numbers 
12 4 and 2 are the another numbers we will factorize those uh, these number okay like 12 is a, uh, how will we how will you factorize the 12 12 will be factorized like this 2 cross 6 4 will be factorized like 2 cross 2 2 cross 2 will be factorized like 2 cross 1 now we will just replace these number with their factorization 12 12 representation 4 uh, factors and the 2 factors okay and now what is the common in all the terms 2 is the common in all these and we uh, we we bring the 2 outside and now we this is the answer okay this is the simplification and this is the factorization of the this polynomial it is the 2 here okay sorry this is 2 okay now this is another uh, third polynomial we have taken it actually it contain the uh, five terms one term second term third term four term it is it contain the four term and and the all uh, and and uh, uh, in all of these terms one thing is common which is x now uh, we have taken the x common out of si outside bracket and now another uh, again we see that what is common in all of these terms we can easily see that the uh, 5 is common okay we have taken the 5 outside the bracket uh, so the final thing which is common is 5x okay so this was the uh, uh, after that we have seen this this type of question examples okay like x uh, into 2x plus 5 plus okay plus 3 into 2x plus 5 now we have seen that that there is a common uh, the thing is common in both the uh, in both of the terms are 2x plus 5 is common in both terms 2x plus 5 in common in is common in both terms like this like in here and here okay we, what we have done actually just 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 move the 2x plus 5 outside the bracket just move the 2x plus 5 outside the bracket we have done this similarly and again the x plus x is here and 3 is here we have written the x here plus down here and the 3 is uh, its own place okay so this is not an easy question such as basic question similarly we have taken another example this example is also uh, done by this way what is what thing is common here please note this thing the x plus 3 is common we have taken x plus 3 outside similarly the thing is the thing is the thing is uh, this thing is its uh, an own place and 3 is uh, here and the uh, x plus 3 uh, okay uh, x plus 3 is sorry x plus 3 is common uh, is outside here because it is common and this is uh, the place of it is here and the 3 is here now what we have done actually we can also simplify this uh, like 8 minus 3 will be minus 5 okay we can also do this and I have did this in the uh, like 8 this is 8 and 8 minus 3 is 5 we can minus this similarly again in the, this was the example uh, this was again this was a, this type of polynomial x plus 4 into this uh, x plus 4 into 10 what is common x plus 4 is common in both so we have taken the x plus 4 outside and the in the what thing will be remain this thing is remaining and again what we have done after this we have done we have plus here we have plus the 5 and 10 so please uh, add the 5 or 10 it will be 15 and the sign will be minus sign because both contain the minus sign because both contain the minus sign okay the sign will be minus so this is the simple representation and we have studied till this uh, uh, studied till this okay let me uh, draw a line okay now to, we are starting the today class today lecture will be uh, some uh, let me again modify this this is the lecture number 14 and uh, and now the lecture number 15 is starting from here okay lecture number 15 is starting from here let me write here lecture number 15. okay lecture okay. lecture number 15 okay so this is the le lecture number 15 and we have do some examples Maria Mordak. Okay, Spokma is uh, saying that she did not have a screen. Did any student, any other student facing the problem of the screen or not? Or just Spokma is facing the problem of the screen? I think, sir, it's only me because 
today I had three class more and that class is I also didn't have a screen so this is my problem and my internet problem okay okay so okay okay uh, hope for the best I am recording the lecture hope for that recording will work I hope that recording will work oh, it will work okay uh, so dear students today is the example uh, we, we will do some example in today lecture examples in today lecture and also you will do some examples okay like the example let me write the example here this is a polynomial basically and we have to uh, let me write here we have to we have to uh, factorize it okay sorry again getting a factorization we have to factorize it it okay how will you do this please note this thing again I am writing the polynomial plus 6x square plus 2x plus 12 okay sorry this is 12 okay now uh, let me ask from the student uh, Shiba Azad Shiba yes teacher uh, <coughs> how many terms are there in this polynomial Four terms. Okay. So nine the kimi are you here? Nine the kimi. Uh okay, teacher. Nine the kimi. Uh, is this for polynomial cubic or quadratic? Uh no, it's for quadratic. It's a cubic because okay. they because have. It's a cubic polynomial because. We, we can easily see that the power is 3 here okay let me write, write clearly the power is uh, here is a power which is 3 please note the power what is the power which is 3 okay so this is the cubic polynomial okay cubic okay very good so Hadia Hadia yes teacher Adia, uh, what is the variable in this polynomial the x is variable okay very good so the student uh, we have the polynomial it has four terms and it is a cubic polynomial because the highest power here is the three okay here is the highest power which is three uh, and it is four terms now Zala uh, yes Zala please what do you want to say Zala Sir, I want to tell you that uh, I just joined now uh, because of some problems. So can you tell me that what have we learned in this uh, few minutes? Can you explain me again? If you don't have any problem, just uh, in a simple word. Okay. Zala, we have, uh, we, uh, we, to, uh, in yesterday class, you were also present. It is good. Uh, in yesterday class, we have done some, uh, we have done the factorization and we have learned the factorization, okay? In today lecture we we have doing some examples okay on the factorization and this is the first example okay we are doing in today class we will learn and uh, how to do the factorization of some polynomials okay okay so uh, this is the polynomial basically and it is a okay okay uh, first of all please uh, please check the the common thing which is, which is what is what is the thing which is present in all the uh, is all the terms okay we will note about the uh, thing For, uh, we should know about the x okay so please note the x x is present here x is present here x is present here x is not present here okay x is not present here so uh, let me write here x is not x okay let we can we i will don't writing because it's a very easy okay x is not present here okay 
so what we what what we can do basically we will take the x common this this is a very important step this is a very important step we will take the x common but x, uh, please uh, first of all take the x common okay so if the x is common the degree the power will be reduced the power will be reduced automatically like x3 will become x2 and x2 will become x1 okay and the plus uh, 2x uh, 2x and the one is here okay and this one will be become 0 and we x power 0 is 1 we will, so we will don't try the x okay and the, the the bracket will be end here and the 12 will be uh, like this okay so uh, for this for, for this time type of polynomial we will uh, we can factorize this polynomial like this okay this is also the uh, some form of representation this is a simple form of representation okay this was the uh, like let me write the question was the x, x3 plus x uh, 6x square plus 2x plus 12 first of all we have uh, we check the we check the thing which is common in all the terms so there is nothing which is common in all the terms but the x is the, uh, the variable which is common in three terms so we have taken out the x out of three and uh, uh, this will be the simple answer okay simplification okay We have taken another the expect of the for factorization, factorization which is the which will be the let me explain Okay, dear students, can you see something? Can you see the question? I have uh, bring the all the questions there. Yes, teacher, I can see. Okay, uh, yes, teacher. These questions are from the GT official exams, and these are the, from the uh, past papers. Okay, let me write it. GT, the GT book. Okay. I can see it, sir, because my internet is not good. Oh, oh. your internet is not good from the start, actually. Uh, what we can do for that? Okay. Sir, can you send this question? Actually, there are. Yes, sir. Can you send it? Yeah. Can you send it in the group? Yes, I will send you in the group. The the file will be shared in the group. Okay. Uh, the th the thing is to solve these questions. Okay. So please, uh, in today's class, we will we will solve some of these and we will learn how to solve them. In the next class, in the tomorrow class, we will also, uh, we will also solve some uh, some of these questions. Okay, so please uh, don't be afraid of the questions. These are just some easy polynomial and the questions, no problem.
Uh, so first of all, please note the question number 11, okay? Uh, what is question number 11 actually? Uh, Najiba, tell me the question number 11. What is, what is the meaning of question number 11? Najiba. Najiba, are you here? Okay, uh, then Nair the Kim will tell us. Nair. Uh, yes, teacher. Can you please uh, tell the question number 11? Okay, uh, teacher, in question number 11, uh, instead of uh, X, we put uh, 2. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, can, I, can I solve it? Uh, no, it's uh, easy. Okay, I'm just... Uh, uh, let explain the question to the students, okay, in Persian. Uh, the, in Persian? Yes. Question number 11 uh, and 12 are same, okay, then uh, tell the students. Okay. Um, uh, hop, uh, the Sawala Omada came Shash X Jamadu Jamahaf Moboet Dajoy X Durabuxore. Uh, aval, uh, uh, Zarb me zane, uh, uh, yani ke shash zarbi x wa, uh, shash abos zarbi du me zane, bad ek khalos kadim, uh, da joy du, uh, da joy x, du ra me xare, uh, wa badan, uh, jawaba me kashim. Ehtimal zeta matas. Uh, Okay, the question is the, uh, we have a polynomial which is 6x uh, we have the polynomial which is 6x plus 2 okay, and uh, plus 7 he is asking the question find the value of this polynomial this is the basic polynomial okay and Hadia can you Hadia are you here Hadia Hadia Azizi. Hadia Azizi, are you here or not? Uh, yes, teacher. I okay. do have your voice on your screen. Mm, okay, you don't have my screen. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, Shiba Azad. Yes, teacher. Okay, what, oh, yes. is the, what is the... Uh, uh, what is... Uh, how let me tell uh, what is the degree of this polynomial? What? Like uh, in this polynomial, uh, what power of x is present? Is this quadratic polynomial or cubic or the or degree one polynomial? Uh, it's not a uh, cubic uh, because uh, the power of x uh, just is one. Okay, very good. I am just saying this. Okay, good. So the polynomial, uh, the power is one, and the this polynomial is basically uh, the binomial. Okay, binomial because it contains two terms. Uh, what may simplify this? It contains the uh, two terms. So uh, do, this is not the uh, the our our target. Our target is to find the value of this polynomial if the x is equal to if the x is equal to two. Okay, in the question, the x is equal to two is given. So just replace the x. This is the x here. Please note that. Uh, note that. Let me write the question in clear form again, and I will explain better. Six x uh, plus two. Okay, this is the polynomial and we have the x so we'll just replace the x by uh, 2 okay we will just replace the x by 2 uh, in the, we will put the uh, put the x we will put the 2 we will place the 2 in the place of x yes we have done this 
and now all the things will be same okay please don't be afraid from them uh, another thing will be same like this okay and uh, now what is the uh, what will be the answer and uh, Atifa tell us Atifa please uh, yes teacher yes what will be the answer so I solved the question and the answer is uh, 31 okay First, uh, should I explain it? Like how we do it? Yes. Okay. So at first, we should um, uh, we should solve those numbers in the parentheses. Atifa, yes. So when, when you you, in the parentheses, you and will we have the, two you, plus two. Yes, you will apply the so PDM PD 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 rule, okay? PD, PM, PM, yeah. and ES rule. So apply the rule. And yes. Uh, we use that. So uh, then we will have four multiplied by. So when we multiply that, we will have um, 24. And then we could add it with 7, which will be 31. Yes, very good. It is the final one. Yes, yes. Exactly, very good. So, dear student, please uh, note the thing. How we solved actually this. Basically, in previous lecture, we have discuss about the PEM and DES okay these are very important rule and very very fundamental rule in mathematics okay please all the students must know this and in this question uh, in all, actually in all the question in all the future questions in all the further mathematics we will apply this PEM DES because all the multiplication and simple uh, division parenthesis and uh, subtraction and multiplication based on this okay uh, so this is the actually the main thing okay so do, this is just simple thing again we have see the another question which is this find the value of this this is the polynomial which is given basically because the polynomial let me write here the line we have the polynomial which is 3x square plus 3x uh, plus 3 into x plus 4 okay how is the polynomial the polynomial is like this This is the question number 12 basically and the, the question is the 3x square plus 3x plus 3 into x plus 4 and uh, find find value okay find value of this find the value of this thing okay please when the x is equal to 4 okay now uh, who will do this question raise your hands who will do this question raise your hands all students okay. and Najiba are you here I want Najiba to do this question Ajiba. Okay. I think Najiba is not uh, hearing my voice. I think uh, she is placing the net password. Or uh, she, okay. Naid is also here. Naid the Kimi. Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, please solve the question. And. Uh, uh, okay. A notebook. Or yes, now in notebook and uh, send the picture in WhatsApp. Uh, okay, now. Yes, and now you have three minutes. Okay. Okay. Okay, now it is actually solving this question, and now we will uh, move. Uh, uh, we will go to the next question. The next question is just student please uh we i will i will put the picture of the night solution here okay and i will also explain the question okay no problem it's an easy question to, it's a very easy question uh the question number 13 i am writing here so uh, i am explaining this question a little bit in this question okay i'm explaining it a little bit okay so actually we have the polynomial 3x square plus 3 into x plus 4 this is the basic polynomial and we we, uh, we have to find the value of this polynomial basically okay this is the expression or polynomial these are the uh, naming the naming okay naming of, naming of the thing every humans have the name similarly every mathematics thing have the name 
this the the, th the thing which is seeing uh, which is uh, which are you watching on the screen is the polynomial or expression so here is the x is x is the variable uh, x is the variable and we have to do x is equal to 4 put the x is equal to 4 and just add and multiply the thing and you have the answer no problem okay uh, with the question number 13 is this if this is the polynomial we have this is a very good question and very uh, easy question this is the, we have the polynomial don't be afraid of this question these are just simple uh, simple arithmetic simple addition and multiplication and uh, subtraction because uh, we are also when we have done the PMDS rule we have done these things already okay so please uh, I don't want you people to confuse okay this is the thing okay this is the question let me check and minus 10 okay and in question he told us uh, find the value of this okay find the value find the value okay find the value Good writing find the value find the value okay uh, if uh, if the question uh, told us x is equal to 2 and the y is equal to 4 okay uh, this is the values if uh, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4 now uh, this is a very simple question just put the x in place x is uh, 2 in place of x and uh, uh, y in place of and uh, 4 in place of y okay we just, just a simple methodology of this question uh, this simple methodology of this question let me replace the thing I will move this question to the uh, little more. Uh, make make this question question smaller, okay? Because I have to to make this uh, thing more space, okay? We have less space basically. Okay, this is the question basically, and this is the uh, this is the situation, so okay? Find the value if x is equal to two and d. Let me write this again. If again, okay? if is very ugly, okay? If y is equal to now uh, Tifa. Solve this question. Atifa, are we here? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, Atifa, please solve this question and send the picture in my WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Neither the me. Neither. Uh, what are you? Are you here? What are you doing? Three minutes have passed. Okay, I think Naidi has sent the picture. Okay, Shiba did this good question. Very good. Okay, uh, is a question Naid. Okay, very good. I think the Naid uh, has uh, has has solved the question and she sent me the picture. In the okay. And now I am going to show you the answer of this question. Okay. Uh, 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 I sent the teacher. Okay, very good, Naid. Excellent. Okay, I am just uh, I am just uh, making the night picture good to uh, good for the students. I am showing the picture of the nice solutions and nice.
जय जुलाल फॉर प्लेन द बेस्ट सर बी अटेंटिव एंड बी एक्टिव इन द क्लास शिबा आजाद आल्सो सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एंड वी अप्रिशिएट शिबा आजाद वेरी गुड एक्सीलेंट एंड वी अप्रिशिएट नाइल हकीमी बिकॉज़ शी सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन सो शी विल आल्सो एक्सप्लेन द क्वेश्चन इन पर्शियन सो नाइस स्टार्ट एंड एक्सप्लेन योर आंसर ओके फॉर द स्टूडेंट इन द पर्शियन हां ओके टीचर should i start yeah yeah start start please uh, okay khab da sawal ma dashtem 6 ba tawan 2 jama 3 qaws x jama 4 va ma baid ba jay x 4 ra bigirem va ma da sawal awal 3 ra giriftem x ba tawan 2 ok baid da jay x 4 ra bigirem giriftem 4 ba tawan 2 jama 3 va qaws baz تا جای x 4 را گرفتم باز جمع 4 که در نتیجه باز دوباره در پایین ما 3 را گرفتم و ضرب زدم 4 به توان 2 را حل کردم 16 4 4 16 و بعدا جمع کردیم 3 قوس خلاص کردیم 4 جمع 4 8 و سه و در آخر سه جمع شانزه مصور میشه به چل هشت و جمع سه را ضرب اشت داخل قوس کردیم که بیست و چار میشه و ای دو دانه را با هم دیگه جمع کردیم مصور به هفته دو دو شد و جواب من برای ما در هفته دو دو دن تیچه question solved by atifa please atifa explain this question in persian and you answer in persian to the other students okay uh, okay teacher uh, khub dokhtara bibinin sawal hast x jam y ke har du tayan az ina dakhil qus va ina be tawan du residan yani ke ham x va ham y shomil tawan du mitan va i taqsim bar du shude manfi adad 10 خب گفته که در این سال ما به جای x باید دو بذاریم و به جای y باید 4 بذاریم خب ما اینا رو عددا رو می‌ذاریم به جای x و y خب پس میشه 2 جمع 4 کل به توان 2 تقسیم بر 2 منفی 10 خب در بخش بعدی ما اینا رو از حالت توان بیرون می‌کنیم 2 به توان 2 میشه 4 و 4 به توان 2 میشه 16 تقسیم بر 2 منفی 10 خب ما اول صورت میگیریم در کسر اولی جمع میکنیم چار جمع شانزده میشه بیست تقسیم بر دو منفی ده خب ما اینجا میتونیم بیست با دو اختصار بکنیم پس میشه ده منفی ده که ده منفی ده هم صفر میشه پس جواب آخری صفره okay, uh, I'm done uh, Appreciate it, thank you Okay, we have another question from the here, which is question number fourteen. Again, it's a very simple question. Uh, the question number fourteen and the question number fifteen, these are I think these are same question like the previous ones. Okay, should we solve them or not? Can you tell me, dear student, please? These questions are same like previous ones. Now, should we solve them or we should uh, uh, we should leave them? I think we can leave them, teacher. Yes. They are. Is it? Yes, yes. And uh, Jiba, what do you say about this? Should we leave them? Okay, Hadia. Hadia. Yes, teacher. Uh, can we leave this question? Should we leave this question? Because these are easier. Uh, the question number fourteen. Fifteen and sixteen. Yes. Fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Yes. Uh, I have done the fourteen and fifteen, and the sixteen. I'm working on it. Okay, very good. And uh, uh, about the seventeen. So, uh, dear uh, Hadia, solve the question number yes. uh, eighteen. Okay, and send me the picture. You will explain to the class. Okay. Uh, which questions, teacher? Question number eighteen. Okay. Okay, for sure. Okay, dear student. Uh, I, these questions are simple, and I, th- I, I hope. And okay, this question has the under root. Okay, this question has the radical. So I think the, I think the. Uh, let me solve the question number seventeen and the 
Hathia will solve the question number 18, okay? Hathia, please solve the question number 18 and I will work on question number 17, okay? The question number 17 is the 14 minus x whole square 14 minus x whole square okay and the uh, 14 minus x whole square oh, here is the questions plus 20 under root x okay plus 20 under root x so 20 under root so we have this polynomial okay and find the value find the value okay find the value if uh, x is equal to 9 okay so please reason, be careful about the solution of these questions because they have include the under root what is this thing this is actually the square root okay let me write with the red pen uh, let me highlight with the red pen because it's a very important point and please note this point this is a very important we have a square root and what is the meaning of square root i told you in the previous lecture of exponents square root means the power of 1 by 2 okay square root means the power of 1 by 2 okay let me highlight the square root let me write the square root let me write this is the square root basically okay and what is meant by square root Atifa what is meant by square root uh, I'm sorry teacher what what is square root by, what is meant by square root or the under root this this thing is called square root or under root okay um, so I think it's like the opposite of power no actually it is basically the power this is by itself a power okay yeah. and it is the value mm -hmm. of 1 by 2 okay I think you know this okay yeah. this is a very simple thing okay very good this is the power of 1 by 2 basically actually uh, now what we will do this we will just replace the I will I'm writing here just replace just replace just replace x by 9 okay in the above polynomial in the above polynomial in the in the above polynomial in the above polynomial okay okay so uh, what we will do we will just write the 14 minus 9 whole square plus okay plus uh, uh, 20 under root 9 so Atifa what is the meaning of under root 9 what what is the what will be the uh, simplification of under root nine? Uh, it is uh, three with the power of two. Uh, no no under root nine like. To, uh, what will be the answer of under root nine? It will be three. Yes yes exactly very good. Because yeah when we multiply three by three it will yes. give us nine. Okay let me explain this thing again uh, for some students okay I, dear student i told you before that the under root this sign of under root or square root okay this means the power of 1 by 2 and the power of 1 by 2 uh, 9 okay now what is 9 basically please uh, shiba tell me what is 9 actually the 9 is uh, in the 9 is, what is 9 actually tell me shiba what teacher uh, what please is, what repeat is, again what is 9 actually like uh, in terms of squares uh, our value? No, I don't know what you said, teacher. I am saying that uh, what is nine in terms of power? Like, uh, like which uh, which number should be power to get nine? Mm, Break three? nine. Yes, yes, three actually. exactly. Three power two will be like these same things. Okay, these are same things. So what will be the answer basically? These two will be cancelled out with these two because these two in the denominator and these two lies in the denominator. So the answer will be three because okay. As Atifa told us, the under root 9 base means 9. Okay, let me write here under root 9 means 9, means 3. Okay, means 3. So, again, this is a very simple question. Now, just uh, 14 minus 9 is what? 14 minus 9 is the uh, 5, 5, uh, 5, into, 5 power 2 plus 20 into uh, 3. Now, how will we do that? This will be actually 25 and uh, 25 plus 60. And what is 25 plus 60 is 85. Okay, this will be the answer. Now, here is the here is the Hadia. Okay, Hadia, uh, Hadia left the meeting. Okay, Hadia, I have to solve the question for us. 
yes i think aryas uh, aryas sent me the answer okay very good um, yes this is the question number 18 and adiya sent me the answer sent me the solution so i will show you the solution of the adiya okay Adia uh, told us the question number 18 and the question number 18 is the let me write the question number 18 uh where is the question number 18 oh question number 18 is let me and i will don't write the question but i directly uh, i directly uh, i will directly pay the client play solution of hadia okay solution is I am just placing the solution of Hadia and uh, where is Hadia? Hadia will explain this, okay? Hadia. Yes, teacher. Just please uh, explain this in Persian to the students and uh, quickly explain, okay? Because the time is less. Uh, okay, should I explain or you're going to show the question? I am showing this question, uh, your solution. This is enough, okay? Please start. Okay. Uh so should I explain it in Persian or, or, or in, in English? Persian. Yes. Okay. So uh banam khudan bakhshinda mehrabon khub inja ma sawal darim ke sawal hajjam mai ast ke se zarb 2x man fi y bar se jama 6 zarb y man fi 5 wa ba ma qimat x ma ra dada man fi 2 wa qimat y ma ra dada man fi 3 gufta ke ira hal kunin. اینجا ما به جای x منفی دو را مندازیم به جای y سی را مندازیم پس شروع میکنیم سی را خودش را میگیریم داخل قوس دو ضرب منفی دو چون قیمت x ما منفی دو است منفی y ما را هم سی است سی را خودش را میگیریم بر سی تقسیم سی جمع شش داخل قوس y ما سی هست و قیمت سی را مندازیم منفی پنج قوس هم بسته میکنیم اینجا سمپلیفای میکنیم سی خودش دو ضرب دو چار و علامه علامه دوی ما مثبت است و علامه دیگه دوی ما منفی است علامه منفی ضرب مثبت میشه منفی دو ضرب دو میشه چهار منفی سه خب اینجا میشه سه قوس باز منفی چهار من منفی چهار منفی سه قوس بسته تقسیم بر سه جمع شش و اینجا اگر سمپلیفای کنیم سه منفی پنج میشه منفی دو و در ادامه ازی داریم که سه ضرب منفی منفی اردیش علامهش یک سان است پس ما اینا را جمع میکنیم منفی چار منفی سه میشه منفی هفت سه ضرب منفی هفت بر سه جمع اینجا اگر ضرب بزنیم جمع منفی میبخشین اینجا علامه منفی را با مثبت ضرب بزنیم میشه منفی دو شش دوازده پس این اگر باز هم سپلیفای کنیم منفی زرب مصبت میشه منفی هفت سه بیست یک منفی بیست یک بر سه منفی دوازده اینجا اختصار کنیم یک سه سه هفت سه بیست یک میشه منفی هفت منفی دوازده مساوی است به منفی نوزده جمع میکنیم نارا پس قیمت بعد است آمده ما منفی نوزده است تیچه دن اوکی گریت سوریر 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 س And if any student have any type of question in the previous lectures, if any student have any question from the previous lectures or today lectures, please ask from me. Okay, I am available to uh, answer your question and uh, uh, make your mind clear. Okay, in today lecture we have solved the questions like there are some ten uh, questions. 11. No sir, okay. I don't have any question. Okay. I don't. Okay, okay. In today class we have started from the lecture number eleven. to the le- uh, question uh, from we have started from the question number 11 and uh, till question number 20 we have done this okay for the question number 9 19 and 20 okay i think these are just very simple question you will just replace the x and y and you will get basically the main uh, concept behind these questions is the pemds rules what is the main thing behind this question shiva tell us yes shiva Shiba, yes. Sorry, teacher. I had a question. Yes. Uh, actually, 
I couldn't understand uh, as well uh, the question uh, 70. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I... let me explain the question number 17 again. And uh, Atifa, do you understand the question number 17? Sir, if our lesson is in, uh, if our lesson is in, can I leave the class? Uh, yes, you can uh, leave the class. Yes, uh, we have ended with the lesson. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Have a nice night. Okay. Goodbye. So, uh, yes, teacher, I understood yes. it. Yes, then explain it in Persian to the Shiba. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, um, Dari, so all go take a mobile BJ X, add a new revisory. Vainji X, Darziri, Jazz Rafter. Pasmo, um, Farad Korikim Konim, Ek, Xabo, add a new job with John Konim. Pasole, Yaram Minimissim, Chorda, Manfi, Xa Valley Commission, no, Kolbetamone do, Jam a beast, uh, K. Zarb Misha, Bo, Jazz no. خب ما میفهمیم که جزر نه سه چون که سه را به توان دو برسانیم میشه نه سه سه نه خب پس این رقم حل میکنیم چارده که به توان دو برسانیم یک عددی میشه که او منفی میشه با نه را وقتی به توان دو برسانیم خب این طرف ترم حل میکنیم و بعد به در ترم بعدی بیست را ضرب سه میکنیم چون که بیست در حالت ضربه با جزر نه و جزر نه هم گفتیم که عدد از اون میشه سه بعد او دو تارم جمع میکنیم این دو ترم و جواب آخر رو میگیریم I hope you understand it عطف جان من میخواستم سوال کنم که در قسمت من فهمیدم که شما گفتین به جای X ما نو میگذاریم داخل جزر مذارت نه با جزر رو کمی مشکل داره من خاطر نمیتونم درست بفهمم و ای که قسمتی که گفته چارده منفی نو کل مربع مثبت بیست